the pregnant Duchess of Cambridge made her second surprise appearance this week when she visited West Ham's London Stadium. It was Kate's first public appearance since the due date of her and Prince William's third child was announced. Kate has been suffering from hyperemesis gravidarum a severe form of morning sickness but appears to be over the worst. Kensington Palace announced on Tuesday that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's new baby is due in April. The couple were handed replica football shirts for their young children by club captain Mark Noble as they attended the ceremony of more than 150 sports coaching apprentices, as part of the Coach Corps scheme. The Duchess of Cambridge made her second surprise appearance this week. PA the claret and blue shirts were emblazoned with George and Charlotte's names and ages, four and two, respectively. As he was welcomed by West Ham Vice Chairman Karen Brady, Aston Villa fan William joked, right colours, wrong team. Speaking of his presence, Noble said it was just a little gift from West Ham really. We know William is an Aston Villa fan whether they the shirts will get put on or not, I don't know. Pregnant Kate dances with life-size Paddington Bear on surprise visit it's just a gesture from us to welcome them to the club. Noble was speaking to the Duke and Duchess as they watched practical sports sessions in action, including football, gymnastics, tennis and rugby. Among the famous faces involved in the sessions was tennis coach Judy Murray, the mother of Andy and Jamie Murray. She said it was amazing for William and Kate to be at the event, adding for them to be here is a huge inspiration for the young people. She said she spoke to the Duchess about her children and how parents can develop coordination skills at a young age, including playing with balloons. The Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry applaud as they attend the graduation ceremony for more than 150 coach corps apprentices. P.A. Ms. Murray stuck with the theme of West Ham whose fans sing I'm forever blowing bubbles, adding I was telling them to try bubbles as well. She said the Prince and the Duchess are very sporty, both of them, and I'm sure they will be keen for their kids to enjoy sport as well. Before the graduation ceremony William, Kate and Harry, attended a reception to meet key figures who have helped deliver the program, as well as hearing about future plans for Coach Corps. The scheme, designed by the Royal Foundation, is designed to teach apprentices, aged between 16 and 24, technical sports skills alongside coaching, with an emphasis on employability. Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's third baby due in April taking to the pitch side stage for the graduation ceremony, Harry said it was appropriate to be back in the stadium five years on from the 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. At the time, William, Catherine and I were looking at the issues that we wanted to tackle together with our newly formed Royal Foundation, he said. It was clear that all three of us believed firmly that sport could be such a powerful force for good. We felt confident that, for many young people, at risk of falling through the cracks as they left school, sport could be the answer to keeping them on track or change the course their lives were already headed. We knew that with the enthusiasm sweeping the country during that summer, we had a window of opportunity to bring the right people and organizations to the table to make something really exciting happen. The idea for Coach Core was born.